Hi everyone, I'm Oliver Lloyd and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my what's in the bag for 2021. using as you can see is the Lynx Choice. This is the dual titanium one which means it's a two-piece golf ball. The reason why I'm using these is because they're really cheap and to be honest I don't mind losing them when I'm out on the golf course. So I have them in a couple of colours and as you can see from this one this is one of my practice balls for putting so I have the triple track which I've put onto them. Next up in the bag are my tee pegs so I'm currently using three different tees. I have the orange one which I use for my driver I have the wooden one which I use on any par threes for my irons and then I also have the blue one which is what I use for my two iron off the tee. So the glove I use is the Callaway Extreme 365. This is an all year round glove so that's why I use it. Also I do have a spare glove which is just an Under Armour glove. The other couple of things that I have on my bag, so I have my towel, this is a Callaway Trifold towel. I also have my groove cleaning device just for when I'm out and about on the golf course. So the last thing before we get into the clubs is being English and English weather as typical as it is, I always have a brolly. So the first thing in the top of my bag is these. So these are my alignment sticks that I use on the driving range all the time just to try and improve myself. So here we go into the main section of my bag. So I'll start off with my driver. I currently have the Cobra S2. So as you can see it is a little bit beaten up and this is one of the oldest clubs that I have in my bag. I bought it second hand just as a starter. So this is a 10.5 degree and it does have the adjustable hosel which you can have neutral, open or closed. So I have this with a stiff graphite shaft, it's the Fujikuru and it is in a 65 gram. So I have this with the original grip which is just the Cobra grip. So as you can see from my video yesterday that I posted, I don't actually use my driver out on the course yet. It's because I'm not quite confident enough. I just need to have a few more practice sessions on the range with it before I start incorporating it into my game. So next up is my absolute favourite club. This is the one I use all the time off the tee and is my absolute go-to and that is my two iron. It is a Dynacraft driving iron and I have it in 18 degrees of loft. I really really love this club as I can get ultimate distance from it, around 200 yards normally and it just feels really really easy to hit off the tee. So like my driver I also have a graphite shaft. This is a G-Tech combo flex and this is actually shortened down to the length of a 7 iron. And I also have a Golf Pride Tor Velvet grip. Next club in my bag is my hybrid and this is a Cobra One length. So this is a Cobra King F9 one length. I have this in a 21 degrees of loft. It's a four hybrid in the one length iron. As you can see, this also has a graphite shaft in it. It is the one length graphite shaft and this is in a regular flex. So this is a Cobra Connect grip which comes already with the Arcos insert in it. Now onto the main part of my bag which is my irons and because of my hybrid I'm sure you can probably guess what clubs I have. So matching in with my hybrid I also have the Cobra King F7 one length irons. This is to keep consistency within my swing and all of my shots as being a beginner golfer. So I have these from a 5 iron all the way down to a pitching wedge. This is just my 7 iron just to show you. I have these in a regular steel shaft, Cobra regular flex. And for the grip I just have the standard Cobra grip which it comes with. So now moving on to my wedges. As you can see I have all three matching. These are the Cleveland RTX 3. I have these in the VMG spec which is the mid range spec which is best for all round coverage. And for me being a beginner I think they're really good off every lie. As you can see I have these in a 50, a 50 and a 58. The 50 has a 10 degree of bounce, 54 has an 11 degree of bounce and the 58 has 9 degrees of bounce. So I have these in the standard steel shaft which is a wedge flex shaft and as you can see it is a true temper dynamic gold. As you can see I have the stock Cleveland grip on all of my wedges. So now down to my last club which is my putter. 
This is a Huntington Beach collection number one. It's a blade putter and as you can see it has a precision milled face and it is 345 grams. So I have this in the standard steel shaft and it is a 35 inch putter because I didn't want to lean over the ball too much. As you can see it has the Cleveland grip and this is a pistol style grip. Later down the line, as I get better and lower my handicap, I will look at getting more conventional clubs, but for the minute I really like what's in my bag. So that completes my what's in the bag for 2021. If you like the video, please hit that like button down below. Also, get in the comments and let me know what you think to my what's in the bag. Also tell me what you think I should look for with a three wood and a driver for replacements for what I have. Lastly, please hit that subscribe button and follow me along my journey to lowering my handicap and playing better golf.